Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we will be producing some silica gel from sand. Sand is already primarily silicon dioxide, however it contains other impurities such as organic matter and metal oxides, and it is not amorphous like silica gel is. Pure silica is useful for certain reactions, and silica gel could be used in column chromatography for separating compounds, so it's good to have some on hand. To start we only need some sand from a beach, and some sodium hydroxide, which can be purchased as lye. We also need a steel tin or steel pan to do the reaction in. We could first weigh out 33 grams of sodium hydroxide and 25 grams of sand and grind them together in a blender. The powder was transferred to a steel can and heated on a stove until everything was molten. The sodium hydroxide reacts with the silicon dioxide to form sodium silicate and water. The reaction is occasionally stirred with a steel rod and heated until no more water is evolved. After the reaction, the mixture was smashed out of the can and transferred to a beaker. Around 300 milliliters of water was used to dissolve everything, and then the mixture was filtered to remove insoluble impurities. The resulting sodium silicate solution was nice and clear, so next 75 milliliters of hydrochloric acid was added to the solution. This could be purchased as muriatic acid from hardware stores. The acid reacts with the sodium silicate to produce silicic acid, which is insoluble and precipitates out. The silicic acid was then filtered, which took over a day because it was quite gelatinous. After filtering, the silicic acid was heated in an oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to drive off all the water and decompose it to amorphous silicon dioxide gel. In total, 13 grams of pure silicon dioxide gel was obtained. As a side note, do not inhale the silica dust, as silicosis can result. We will be using this silica for future projects and hopefully to be trying out some column chromatography. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in a future project. Okay, bye.